What up, everybody? Instructor Beats back again. Today we are talking about dividing a decimal by a decimal. This is our video number five for dividing decimals playlist, so let's dive right in. Today I will be able to divide decimals by decimals. What that means is you're going to have decimal dividends and decimal divisors. This is actually not just a fifth grade standard, but it's the next logical step in dividing decimals. So we're going to go ahead and take it together. Go ahead and check out the link to our decimal song right here. Um, if you haven't heard it yet, these are the lyrics from the song, right? And these are kind of our rules for division that we put into song form to help us remember it. Divisions like magic poof. If it's in the dividend, you raise it to the roof. If it's in the divisor, a secret to confide. All you got to do is slide, slide, right? And so we're going to use those rules today to help us divide decimals with decimals. So right here we have 12 hundredths divided by 6 tenths. I'll go ahead and put my 12 hundredths inside my, um, for my dividend, okay? And I'm not going to write my zero in the ones place because I know I don't really need it. It's just kind of a place value holder right here. And I'm going to have my 6 tenths on the outside. And we know from our last video that our rule is we cannot have a whole number, or sorry, we cannot have a decimal for our divisor. So if we have a decimal in the divisor, a secret to confide, all we got to do is slide, slide. So we're going to multiply this by 10, which means we're moving the place value one, uh, or sorry, the decimal one place value to the right. And if we slide for our divisor, we need to slide inside for our dividend. So we're going to also multiply this number by 10 to move my decimal. And I'm going to erase to get rid of where my decimal was at. And now all I'm doing is one and two tenths divided by six. So this took it back to just a decimal being in the dividend. And if it's in the dividend, you raise it to the roof. So we're going to raise it straight to the roof. We can do that first or afterwards. It doesn't really matter. And now we're just going to divide like we normally do. Um, obviously, six goes into 12 twice, but we'll, you know, we'll go through the steps. Um, so six goes into one zero. Uh, we multiply. We get one. We bring down our 12. Six goes into 12 twice, right? When I multiply, that is 12. I subtract, I get zero. So my answer is zero and two tenths. So this is the exact same thing that um, as if there was just a decimal in the divisor like last video and then we had to add our decimal and move it. Except it's actually a little bit easier in my opinion because the decimal is already there. We don't have to see the unseen. We just move it however need place values. We move it in the divisor. We move it the same amount of place values in the dividend. Let's try a U-try. Go ahead and pause the video and solve this problem. Uh, when you're ready, push play and we'll see how you did. So hopefully you just solved this video and we have six and 85 hundredths divided by uh, five tenths, right? And my rule of thumb is I cannot have a decimal in my divisor. So if it's in the divisor, secret to confide, all you gotta do is slide, which means if we slide here, we slide here, right? That's why we say slide twice because you have to do it twice. Um, really what you're doing is you're multiplying by powers of 10, which means you're moving place values. Um, but this is kind of a shortcut. Um, but we do want you to hear those words and kind of uh, conceptually understand a little bit about what you're doing. So now we want to erase the old decimals so we know exactly where they're supposed to be. So I'm going to erase that one. I'm going to erase this one right here. And now I'm dividing 68 and 5 tenths divided by 5. This is going to be the exact same answer as 6 and 85 hundredths divided by 5 tenths because we multiplied both of them by powers of 10. The same amount of groups of this divisor are going to fit into the dividend. How many groups of, so I'm following my same steps I have been doing. Anytime I do my standard algorithm, how many groups multiply, subtract, bring down. How many groups of 5 going to 6? That's 1. I'm going to multiply. That's 5. Okay, I'm going to subtract, which is 1, and I'm going to bring down my next digit, which is going to make this 18. How many groups of 5 go into 18? 3. I multiply. That's 15. I subtract. That's 3. I bring down. Now I have 35. How many groups of 5 go into 35? That's a 7. And so when I multiply, that'd be 35. I'm going to subtract and get 0. And so I'm at first thinking my answer, ah, my answer might be 137, but what I realized is I forgot to put my decimal to the roof, right? When it's, uh, when it's in the dividend, you raise it to the roof. And so my answer is 13 and 
seven tenths, right? Um, and so this is just a great way to do decimals using your standard algorithm. It makes it very easy. If you just follow the decimal song that we talked about, if it's in the dividend, you raise it to the roof. If it's in the divisor, secret to confide, all you got to do is slide, slide. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Please check out our decimal song at our YouTube channel, Instructed Beats Official. You can follow us on Instagram at, at Instructed Beats, and we would love for you to subscribe. Thank you so much. Instructed Beats, out.